deep into the heart of Tyndall Air Force Base, a cleanup effort is underway. The sweeps of a broom and the scrapes of a rake by a small group of first sergeants are keeping special areas on Tyndall clean. Areas most people don't even know exists. One of the things that we've taken on is just uh, taking care of our cemeteries and making sure that they're squared away. I have my mortuary tech along with several other first sergeants who volunteer to give their time to help um, take care of the graves and to make sure that they're being preserved properly. Tyndall is home to 11 cemeteries, all of which predate the base. People buried in the graves range from Civil War and Mexican-American War veterans to founding families of the Tyndall Peninsula. Now, it's up to Tyndall's airmen to care for these sacred sites. We did some basic sweeping, cleaning of the graves, some raking around. Uh, I brought my chainsaw out, we cut and trimmed some trees, took a couple trees down just to help out, protect the graves in the long run. Not many people come back here all the time. Um, we've secured this area to make sure that it's still available, but we want to make sure that 100 years from now it's still there. Uh, it's important for us to respect what was already here before all of the base operations were here, make sure that we're doing our, our part to take care of them and um, to make it available for the local community as well. Um, everything that we do here helps to make sure that um, someone's loved one is taken care of and at the end of the day that's what we're all about. The group of volunteers cleaned two cemeteries and plan to give the same attention to the others on base the next time they work, the graveyard shift. Staff Sergeant Russ Jackson, Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida.